Right, I'm just doing another quick video too, this is, of my walk from Wells, Arthur's Point, Wookie I'm heading towards now, and I've just got this beautiful view of Glastonbury Tor in front of me, as I come down the hill off Arthur's Point. I'm getting lots of different views of Glastonbury during these walks. It's not a very good day sunshine wise, but at the moment the rain is keeping off. I've just walked up one side of this hill and down the other, which I, that's what I believe to be Arthur's Point up there. <coughs> There's no real sign to say it is, but that's what everyone seems to say it is. So I'm now going to follow this footpath. Now, do you think that says straight ahead? Yeah, it's sort of going because sometimes they're at funny angles so it's sort of going that way beautiful views though isn't it out there beautiful views there's not a lot of people out there they were very helpful those people I met earlier but the thing is I could have got myself in walking through all of that wood if I hadn't met them actually I would have got here but I would have had to negotiate a lot more they do send you on these sometimes wild goose chases, these walks do. But um, I don't mind having an occasional bypass. But they, they came out for a walk. They'd already been out for a couple of hours and they didn't take no water. It's, it's, it's summer. They didn't take no food and they've got no money. I mean. You should always, when I was in the army cadets, you, you should, as an instructor, you should always carry enough for a phone call. And this day and age, if you're in town, you need 20p to use the loo, unless you go in a pub. Anyway, I've got instructions and maps. So I'm now, the, the section I'm doing now will be taking me down to Wookie Hole, the caves. Wookie Hole where the witches. But I am still wary. There's lots of cow pat. <sighs> they still let us roam amongst great big beasts. Huge beasts. Now, part A of the plan is to go from Eber Gorge, if I ever get there. They've been there already, so that they, they um, they've already done quite a big walk. Anyway, basically, is then to follow on to get back to a place called Mendip, no, West Sub Mendip, I think it's called. That's the, the lovely Glastonbury keeping an eye on me everywhere I go. When I finally end up on there with my ashes, I'll be able to look over at all my walks that I've done. All round Glastonbury, I would have walked. I haven't done the Pilton side yet, not properly. But this is beautiful Somerset and I'm just taking on a brief walk, because we haven't even got to the gorge yet just so that you get a bit of an idea. I mean, I followed the instructions exactly, and they were very good, the instructions, leading me out of Wells. But you can, if you do follow the route strictly, you won't get lost if you follow it strictly, when the signs are there, for example. And there are occasions where they just don't show. And then there could be three ways to go and you don't know which way so that can be annoying I haven't been to Wookie Hole for many years I went off the place when a long time ago when the kids were small oh, there's a load of cows down there when the kids were small Oh, look at this little seat. I put, I have flip flops on. We went in a pub there, and um, 
I got poo all over my shoes. Now that's very nice of the farmer. He's put the cows, which look like young ones. God, I hope they can't see me. Let's get out of the way. They're all gathering. Hopefully I don't have to walk through them. Like I said, I'm being chased. They're young ones. They would chase. They could still get me yet. Hold on. I've got to get to that gate before they get to me. What games we have. And that, there's probably 20, 30 young heifers there. And they'd be very frisky. Now I'm hoping to get around the corner before they spot me. I mean, they might be fenced off. With any luck. Got a single and see electric fence. It could be that they're having to fence them off. Oh yeah, they have. Look, they fence them off. <sighs> because they get very frisky. Look at them. There's only an electric fence separating me from them. <sighs> now, do I go down there? Who knows? Joining up with the lane. Yeah, see, there's a way down there. I won't be going down there, I wouldn't have thought. This is the lane I'm joining now. This is the lane I'm joining now, which I would have walked around. But of course, it's not. Once again, the signs disappear. Look. That takes you up to Alfred Point. This is the lane I would have followed all the way round from when I had met those people. That would have been a nice walk as well. But I now presume, I presume, um, I go down here. I've got no idea. I've got no idea. There's no sign now. This is what I'm saying. There are signs and then they totally disappear. But I do not fancy walking down there, but then that could be Ebor Gorge over there for all I know, see? See that over there? I might have to get over there yet. I got no idea because the sign's gone. Right, over and out for a minute. 